Hello and welcome to the news from Bahrain International. I'm Sarah Lebrick. His Majesty King Mohammed bin Isa Al Khalifa held a telephone call with His Majesty King Mohammed VI of Morocco where they discussed the deep-rooted brotherly bilateral relations and means of bolstering them at all levels to achieve joint interests. His Majesty notified the Moroccan monarch on the kingdom's decision to open a general consulate in Al Ayoun in Morocco and to coordinate its affairs between the foreign ministries of the two countries. His Majesty expressed the kingdom's support and solidarity with Morocco concerning its defense of its sovereignty rights and the safety of its and citizens in uh, Gargarat's crossing within the framework of the Moroccan unity. His Majesty hailed the decisions of His Majesty the Moroccan monarch to return the, the, the situation back to normal in Gargarat in the Moroccan desert, congratulating him on uh, the positive outcomes of reopening the crossing for a safe passage for civil and commercial traffic. His Majesty also expressed support for all measures taken by Morocco to support the safety of its lands and people. He wished the people of Morocco further progress and prosperity. For his part, uh, King Mohammed VI expressed thanks and appreciation to His Majesty the King for the honorable stances of the kingdom in supporting Morocco and its people, which reflects the death of brotherly bilateral ties. He wished the people of Bahrain progress and prosperity under the wise leadership of His Majesty the King. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa issued a Resolution 21 for the year 2020, amending some provisions of Resolution 15 for the year 2017 on establishing and forming the National Committee for Geospatial Information Governance. Article 1 stipulates that a committee called the National Committee for Spatial and Geographic Information Governance shall be established and will be referred to in this decision by the word the committee, and it follows the Ministerial. Committee for Development and Infrastructure Projects and is formed under the chairmanship of the CEO of the Information and E-Government Authority with the membership of the following. A representative from the Information and E-Government Authority, a representative from the Survey and Land Registration Bureau, a representative from the Ministry of Housing, a representative from the Ministry of Works, Municipalities, Affairs and Urban Planning, a representative from the Electricity and Water Affairs, a representative from the Urban Planning and Development Authority and a representative from the National Space Science agency. A decision to nominate the members of the committee is issued by the chairman of the Ministerial Committee for the Development and Infrastructure Projects based on the nomination of each of the aforementioned bodies, provided that the level of representation is not less than that or an assistant undersecretary. The committee selects a vice president from its members at its first meeting, and the powers of the president are assigned to him in the event of his absence. Article 2 of the decision stipulates that the phrase Ministerial Committee for the Development Infrastructure Project is to be replaced with the phase Ministerial Committee for Construction and Infrastructure wherever it appears in Resolution 15 of the year 2017 to establish and form the National Committee for Geospatial Information Governance and its System of Operation. The Minister of Foreign Affairs, Dr. Abdel Latif al Rashid al Zayani, arrived in Riyadh, the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia, where he was received on arrival by the Saudi Minister of Foreign Affairs, His Highness Prince Faisal bin Farhan bin Abdullah al Saud. During the meeting, the two ministers affirmed the depth of the solid fraternal relations between the Kingdom of Bahrain and the sisterly Kingdom of Saudi Arabia, based on solid foundations and of joint cooperation and coordination. Dr. Zayani and his Saudi counterpart took pride in the close ties that are based on solid foundations between the two countries and the two brotherly people in light of mutual keenness to strengthen and elevate them to the levels that satisfy common desires. The meeting, which also touched on other issues of common concern, was attended by the Undersecretary of the Ministry of Foreign Affairs for International Affairs, Dr. Sheikh Abdullah bin Ahmed Al Khalifa, and the delegation accompanying the, ministry or the Minister of Foreign Affairs. The Minister of Foreign Affairs, Dr. Abdel Latif al Rashid Zayani, met with the UAE Minister of Foreign Affairs and International Cooperation, His Highness Sheikh Abdullah bin Zayed Al Nahyan. The two ministers expressed pride in the depth of the fraternal relations between Bahrain and the UAE in all fields based on ongoing cooperation and coordination to achieve mutual aspirations thanks to the support of the leaderships of the two countries. The meeting discussed various regional and international matters of mutual interest and was attended by the Under Secretary of the Ministry of Foreign Affairs for International Affairs, Dr. Dr. Sheikh Abdullah bin Ahmed Al Khalifa, along with the minister's delegation, whereas the UAE was also represented by the Under Secretary of Foreign Affairs and International Cooperation for Political Affairs, Shaheen Al Mrar. 
The Bahraini vessel Al Zubara of the Royal Bahrain Naval Force, the RBNF, arrived successfully in the kingdom after departing from the port of Falmouth in the United Kingdom. An official reception ceremony at Salman Marine Base of the RBNF was held, where the commander of the RBNF, Commander Mohammed Yusuf Al Asham, delivered a speech saying that the accession of Al Zubara vessel is a reflection of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa's patronage of the RBNF and the support of the BDF Commander in Chief. Field Marshal Sheikh Khalifa bin Ahmed Al Khalifa, which enables the RBNF to carry out its duties and preserve the gains of the kingdom as territorial and economic waters. In his speech, the RBNF commander extended thanks to the BDF commander in chief. He also thanked the commander of the mission, the captain of the ship, officers, non commissioned officers, and personnel of Al Zubara for their excellence in training and for implementing the task they have assigned or they were assigned on the journey to Bahrain. In response to a proposal submitted by the Youth Parliament regarding the importance of recruiting young people with disabilities in the private sector, the Minister of Labor and Social Development, Jamil bin Mohammed Ali Hamedan, expressed pride in the high spirit of young people in adopting vital issues in society, expressing his admiration in their familiarity with the legislative and executive aspects. He revealed that 156 people of determination are still on the ministry's waiting list for employment, while 900 of them have been employed in various jobs. Hamidan affirmed that the ministry is working to compel all private companies to employ people of this category, constituting at least 2% of their employees. He also emphasized that the majority of people of determination receive all social benefits, including assistive devices and aids, as well as training and development to enable them to successfully enter the marketplace and obtain new skills. The Health Ministry's antibiotic medical team has won the Best Arab Government Project Award for developing the health sector organized by the Arab League's Arab Administrative Development Organization, Arado. In cooperation with the UAE government, Health Minister Fayyaka bin Saeed al-Salah congratulated the team on the award conferred on the project, which continues to rank high in local and international competitions. She expressed pride in creative and ambitious caters, commending the drive of the government's share by His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister, Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa to incorporate best practices and enhance work performance towards achieving the 2030 Bahrain Economic Vision and the Government Action Plan, the GAP. She praised the team's efforts headed by Dr. Jamila Salman over the past year, given the importance of the project for the optimal use of antibiotics in light of the increase in the percentage of antibiotic resistant microbes, which represent a global problem that threatens the international and regional health system. The Kingdom of Bahrain will host a virtual forum on mental health during and after COVID-19 pandemic with the participation of speakers from the World Health Organization. The International Labour Organization, the United Nations Development Program and UNICEF, the forum seeks to draw a clear map for institutions and companies in the post-elimination phase of the COVID-19 pandemic and to help their workers to adapt mentally and psychologically to the new conditions and the great changes that have occurred in the work environment, markets and the society due to the pandemic. The forum will discuss the positive impact of the government's health and financial support for institutions and individuals in the Kingdom of Bahrain on the psychological, family and social stability in the Kingdom, in addition to its role in accelerating the stage of economic recovery. The forum is organized by the You Matter initiative, which was launched recently in Bahrain under the patronage of the governor of the capital, Governor Sheikh Hisham bin Abdurrahman Al Khalifa. 
The Ministry of Health said today that the number of coronavirus cases reached 1,496 with 175 new recoveries, 162 registered new cases and one death. 72 of the new registered cases are expatriates, 80 are contacts of active cases and 10 are travel related. The ministry expresses its heartfelt condolences to the family of the deceased and urges everyone to adhere to the rules and avoid public spaces when possible. The ambassador of the Kingdom of Bahrain to the United Kingdom, Sheikh Fawaz bin Mohammed Al Khalifa, participated in the symposium held by the Anglo-Israel Association (AIA) entitled "Principles of the Abraham Accords for Peace and Regional Cooperation," with the participation of a number of UK-based interest representatives, politicians, and researchers. Sheikh Fawaz said in a statement that the signing of the agreement comes as a natural development of the Kingdom of Bahrain's long approach to openness to others, tolerance, and peace promoted by the culture-rich and diverse Bahraini community. The ambassador noted that the Kingdom of Bahrain is always open to other religions and cultures and on the basis of these foundations, His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa has affirmed that these values and urges to build bridges of trust and understanding among all cultures and religions. He added that the agreement and other bilateral joint memoranda of understanding between the two countries are means through which the Kingdom seeks to fundamentally transform the dynamics of the Middle East and build a better future of peace, security and prosperity for all people of the region.